Testing time. Question, experiment, learn. Episode 1. Red Dot Sight versus Reflex Sight. In this episode, I'm going to be testing three different things. The recoil difference, the magnification difference, and the zoom time difference between the two sights. First is the recoil difference test. What I did was pretty simple. I got the same weapon, one with the red dot sight, one with the reflex sight, had them both on my person, got to a standardized location, and fired at a wall. I looked at the marks it left and compared the two to see which one had more recoil for that round, and I would write down the result. Now I did this multiple times for multiple weapons, and I will show you the data which I recorded. As you can see here, the first number represents the amount of times I tested the weapon, so the amount of the pairs I fired with the red dot, then the reflex. Um, so for the AK, I, I did 100 tests, and the red dot had more recoil 43 times, and the reflex had more recoil 37 times. And 20 times out of the 100 tests, the recoil was just too even or just too hard to tell which one was more or which one was less. Now for the AUG, I only tested it 26 times for the sake of time because uh, this did take a while to do. And the red, dot had, the red dot and the reflex both had more recoil 10 times out of the 26 tests and there was uh, 6 ties out of the 26 tests. As you can see on screen, I also tested the Enfield and the M16 26 times. And the Enfield, actually, the Reflex site had um, more recoil eight times, and the Red Dot only had it five times, and there was 13 ties. So that right there shows that the Red Dot and the Reflex, neither one has less recoil. They do the same exact thing. This is just out of averages, and just this test obviously isn't perfect, but it just shows that neither one has more or less recoil. And like the AUG, the M16 had the same amount of times for where the red dot and the reflex sight had more recoil, 5 for each, and 16 ties. Oh, and on a side note, these tests aren't saying that like the AK always has more recoil with the red dot, or the Enfield always has more recoil with the reflex. These are just averages, and obviously, at different times, they'll have different amounts. It's just all based on chance. Next is the magnification difference test. This one was really easy. I just took two freeze frames, one with the red dot sight and one with the reflex, aiming at the same exact target from the same exact spot. And from here, I compared the two to see if one had more magnification than the other. This image is two, both the pictures overlaid on top of each other, so you can see any of the differences in the two photos. And obviously, you can see the difference in, between the red dot and the reflex, the actual sight, but the, um, the target looks exactly the same, so there is no difference in magnification. And here are both the photos side by side. Last is the zoom time test. Here I just zoomed in once with the red dot, once with the reflex. Um, it's the same exact thing. They took both exactly 8 frames, but this is recorded at 30 frames a second. So I'm assuming that it would take 15 frames at 60 frames a second, which the game runs at, which is exactly a fourth of a second. So as you saw, they both raise in the same amount of time. So to sum it all up, there's really no difference between the red dot and the reflex. They're basically the same thing, the only difference is how it looks. Bam, said the lady.